The gadget can communicate that the cow is hungry or unwell to its caretaker. Yeah, I always communicate with her. When she has a problem, she tells me, uh, my boss come and see me, I have a problem. There you are, this is something gonna tell her. And she's comfortable. And I'm also comfortable because I communicate with her every day. We have installed uh, some gadgets there. They are not the gadgets, they are the communication system. And this one here communicates with um, with the, with the internet and passes the information to my, my bone. And she tells me. So whatever is happening, whether, whether if she's in, on, on, on his trust, she tells me today, I need a bull. If she is not satisfied, if she's not eating, the stomach tells me that something is wrong, the cow is hungry, come and see me. If she's uh, chewing the cat, she tells me she's chewing out the cat, she's very happy. If she's standing, she tells me she's standing. If she's sleeping down, she tells me, uh, that this thing here communicates on behalf of the cow because she senses the cow. This is a technology, it's modern technology, which is coming up. I got this one from, uh, we got this one from Europe through SNV. So that's why it's very important to say to benchmark, go abroad, learn something new, which is which we don't know in this, uh, this country here. This is what we call Conactera. Yeah. So it's, uh, and uh, we have uh, an, an NGO known as uh, Place Dairies. They are the ones who have connected this to European countries, in Netherlands, particularly Netherlands, the origin of this thing here. So here we are. So this one Wherever I'll be, even if I'll be in Arabi or anywhere, this cow can communicate with me. Yeah, there you are. So he's showing me cow number 20, 26 has got signs of his trust. Number 28 is showing me is in his trust and can be soft. Number 23 has got a certain drop in eating and it was very true. She overate yesterday, today she was not eating, she was not interested in eating, I think she overate. So I discovered immediately. So you can see that one there. So, so that cow, you can see it, number 23, has a certain drop in eating activity. That was on Saturday, um, uh, that was on Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, uh, 17 hours. And then, and then, if I want to know which cow is that one there, he tells me, okay, that cow is Chamnyambo. So it's in milking group, it's a Frisian, she's pregnant, she's uh, 267 days, and it's very true. She's on third lactation. That's how our body behaves. So I can learn walking, activities, ruminating, eating, standing, laying, walking. So, so you can see. So I just learned all the information about that cow. Putting up a cow structure, different elements must be considered, such as separation of cows that are in different production stages for effective feeding. At Iluka Farm, there are several partitions which accommodate all cows in their different stages, such as the lactating ones from the ones which are being dried, as these cows have different nutrition needs and must therefore be separated for efficient tending to their varying needs. All cows are at different stages of production. Those which are dry should eat less concentrated than those in milk. So we are separating these to allow us manage effectively the feeding of our animals. From a total of 110 cows, the Luca farm is currently milking around 40 cows, which Magut says is yielding 700 liters and more on a daily basis, which he considers a very good return for him. My cows are not all that high grade. I'm doing around 700 liters a day, which is an average of about 18, which according to, to the grade of my cows, I think I'm very satisfied. Milking over 40 cows could take quite a long time and can be tiring if it was to be done manually. At Iluka Farm, the cows are milked through a milking machine which is considered efficient and very safe. Magud tells us how milk prices can drop at times due to various reasons such as prolonged periods of drought. 
he can sell a litre of milk at 55 Kenya shillings and sell the same at 27 Kenya shillings when times are bad. When milk production goes up, it makes me sell to Kenya cooperative uh, creameries, which is a parastatal, and they pay us less. Yeah, of late, the other time, in like January, everyone went to us very dry and we were producing uh, a lot of milk. Uh, KCC bought us at around 27 shillings, which was really very devastating. And that was the price, that was the time the KCC could have paid us more. So, to me, I was selling, I was selling my milk locally at 55 to 60 shillings a litre. And KCC, we are buying at 27. So you can see that variation between 27 and 55, half the price. That was so embarrassing. Livestock keepers should exploit the Kenyan milk market as the industry regulator announced in April that the country is planning to import 200 million litres from East Africa. As Kenya is not self-sufficient in production due to rising consumption fueled by rising incomes and urbanization. This was according to Ms. Margaret Kibogi, the managing director of Kenya Dairy Board. Small-scale farmers mostly take advantage of cooperatives where they can collectively sell their milk to processing companies. At Iluka Farm, milk production is relatively high and well capacitated to supply directly to institutions and the processing industries. I'm selling to hotels, extra I take them to KCC. From my own experience, they should form cooperatives so that they can get a gaining power. And they can also expand uh, their knowledge to, to, to know where they can sell this milk. They can as well sell out of this milk even out of this country here. Uh, so it's a question of people coming to uh, getting united and then they can use their heads to, to know where to sell these things here rather than just going in an individual way whereby you don't know where to run to or whom to run to when you are alone. So we need somewhere where you could advise farmers to form cooperatives so, so that when they, have, they get a challenge, they can do it as a teamwork. Milk is big business and it requires a lot of hard work, skills, intelligence and common sense. On a small farm, workers work alongside the farm owner and on big farms, workers must work as part of a team. Maguta explains the importance of acquiring skilled personnel as only then can a farm manager expect things to run accordingly, whether he is present or not. I've employed qualified people. All of them have graduated and they, they know what they are doing. So, and by doing so, it fast it makes my work easier. I sleep well because, uh, because I know I'm confident that I've got people who are really who really know their job, and they don't gamble, they follow instructions properly. So, with my people, all of them are trained and they all have graduated in various institutions in agriculture. Dairy farming has numerous advantages as the manure from the livestock is useful in crop cultivation. Well able farmers are privileged to travel abroad for benchmarking, posing the questions what about the majority of farmers who are not able to cater for their air tickets? Having had the opportunity to travel abroad to benchmark, Magood shares with us that Kenya is a potential high milk producer. If only the farmers can be educated and capacity building programs implemented across the country. The area which is wanting in knowledge in dairy farming is the area of feeding and breeding. Magood believes that the government has a huge role to play in taking dairy farming to another level here in the country. I've traveled abroad. Kenya can be the best country, particularly Rift Valley, to produce a lot of milk and the best cows we can get in the world. Because the climate favors them, everything favors them. It's only the question of know-how and education. The government should guide these people properly. Let us have people going abroad, bring us their good ideas, let us benchmark, and that's the only way we can succeed. Take it from me, this is what I've done. I didn't become smarter up to the point where I am today, had I not gone out. I know I've been trained in this country, I've been trained abroad. It's a question of seeing and believing and accepting that these things are doable and we can manage it. So what I'm saying is that we have everything at our own disposal. The only thing we, don't, we are lacking is knowledge. We have to be very careful in breeding, let us select the best bulls, so let us have the best genetics, let us have, have quality feeds and nothing short of that. Magut also reached out to the young people proposing to them to take up dairy farming as a business as the industry is paying. For youths, this is a very good business. It pays if you sit down and calculate how much you can get from a cow of 30 liters. It's better off by far by being employed as a, as a, as a, as a policeman or as a teacher. This industry pays more. I would advocate to youths, let them go back to agricultural institution let them learn how to come and manage a cow 
and the, from there they will survive. There's plenty in this country here. They should not even demand land. They can build upstairs. I mean somewhere, some corofa somewhere there. Keep the cows there, stay there, and then earn, earn a living. This is life. I'm better off than somebody who is in the bush, running up and down, <laughs> chasing things which are, not, which are not there. Here you are, I've got my property here. And we've got everything. I'm self reliant, I'm comfortable. I don't have any stress. I'm employing youths like this one you see around here. They're also enjoying life. What else do you want beyond that? that that's all we want. So there's life in this, in this industry. Magut took us around his farm just so we could see his high yielders in the farm. We wrapped up at a Luca farm, we met a couple. They intend to start dairy farming and they had to come to the farm for benchmarking. Magut offers training for farmers as well and his farm is open to those interested in learning more on dairy farming. Guitar is very good, yeah. you have everything there. The environment, yes, is, the environment is very good, and plenty of feed which is being wasted. All these, you should use it to feed your cows. Milk doesn't have any quarrel, yeah. If you, if you don't sell as fresh, you can uh, process it. You see? So, and people have to continue drinking milk. True. Yeah. So, we will take in the advice seriously. Yes. And uh, in fact, we are impressed because uh, I can see a lot of improvement yes. from uh, from what I saw the last time. Exactly. So, I'm sure Mom has also learned very well. So, we will team up, put our heads together, and we are looking forward to becoming. More farmers like you. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, most welcome. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah. That's all we had today. Share with us your feedback through the number that is on your screen. Stay tuned to KTN Farmers TV.